Beautiful Leos. This is your Leo plus Pisces love reading for August. We are going to be looking into feelings for each other, future actions, ending oracle, and advice for any of my Leos who are connecting to, interested in, and or curious about a Pisces. Happy birthday to my Leo sons out there. Wishing you a blessed, abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. Let's get started into it with the feelings here. Spirit, please show me what are Leo's feelings for Pisces and what are Pisces' feelings for Leo. All right. Leo, in your feelings, we have the Hermit. We have the Six of Wands and we have the Seven of Cups. Pisces, feelings for you are the King of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and Justice. All right, so let's start off with your feelings here, Leo. You have the Hermit, the Six of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you have ultimately been in solitude or healing for quite some time with this Hermit energy. You do have the Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like for some of you, you may want more of Pisces attention or more recognition from a Pisces. But you may be a little bit confused emotionally on how to receive that. Or you may just feel like you're a bit up in the air with this Pisces. Not really certain on what direction you two are going down. But with the Six of Wands here, I do feel like if you are wanting more recognition from a Pisces, more effort from a Pisces. I feel like you're going to be receiving a little bit more from them, but I still feel like you're ultimately confused. Pisces feelings for you are the King of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and Justice. So I feel like Pisces is very much closed off emotionally right now. I feel like they are trying their best to stay detached think more logically when it comes to relationships. And I feel like Pisces is really, I get their energy could be quite emotionally distant. They could be talkative, they could be in your energy, but I definitely feel like their emotions are something that they're not going to give away that easily. With justice here, I feel like Pisces either may feel a bit wronged by you or they may feel like they are waiting for better balance within themselves to give more to a connection in general. But that's what we have in the feelings for each other. So let's see what the future actions for August will be. Spirit, please show me Leo's future actions for towards Pisces and Pisces' future actions towards Leo. Do keep in mind that for some of you, the reading could resonate backwards, reverse, flipped, you may end up on their side. They may end up on your side, Leo, and possible cross-watching Pisces. So take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Assign the roles as you wish. Let's see what we have in the actions. So, Leo, we have your future actions as the Two of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. Pisces' future actions towards you are the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Sun. All right, so I definitely feel, let's start off with Pisces. They have the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Sun. I feel like throughout the month of August, I feel like Pisces is going to be giving more offers towards you. You may see this Pisces more. You may spend more time with them. With the Queen of Cups to the Sun as well, I feel like ultimately you may start seeing more of Pisces' heart. I feel like they're going to start being a bit more open with how they feel about love, about this connection, or in a general sense of feeling. I definitely feel like Pisces' energy is shifting in their action energy as to where they are more offering and they are more open. So I feel like for a lot of you Leos, that may spark your curiosity because you have the Two of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Swords. So a lot of you Leos may be feeling throughout this month of August that this situation is taking a turn for the positive. And with the Page of Swords, I feel like some of you are really feel very curious about this individual. Some of you are very open to learning the love language of this Pisces. 
Some of you, there also could be a learning situation between the two of you. Some of you may be in an institutional or school-like energy and or work situation together. But I definitely feel like things are going to start moving forward here between you and a Pisces where there could have been some confusion and uncertainty and distance. There could definitely be a lot more togetherness for the two of you. Let's see. Why does Pisces have the sun in their future actions? We have the nine of wands again. We have the page of wands. All right. So I feel like Pisces is putting down their wall a little bit towards you here in August. So I feel like for some of you, Pisces may have not been that flirtatious, maybe not that open hearted, maybe even not that open to bonding in the physical. I definitely get a turnaround from this Pisces energy where, you know, if this nine of wands was their wall, it's like they're putting down one wand at a time. And I feel like you may feel more of Pisces energy this month where they're actually showing you they have interest in this connection. You have Page of Swords to the Magician, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, Tower, okay, to the Seven of Swords. All right, so some of you, I definitely feel like you, you feel as though you're manifesting this Pisces back in, the Hierophant to the Empress, but I ultimately feel... For you here, Leo, I get a sense where you are looking for stability and commitment. I feel like this Pisces is somebody who's going to, like I said, put down their wall one wand at a time. And I feel like for some of you, this Pisces may have been avoiding this connection or avoiding things moving forward with you. you this could be pretty surprising where Pisces is being a lot more open to what they feel in this connection to where they may surprise you. You may have tried to get this Pisces to open up. You may have felt like they were never going to, or things would never get to that point of seeing where things could go in a more serious manner. I feel like there are surprises coming from this Pisces as to where Some of you just didn't think they'd put down their wall, but I definitely get them opening up more to this connection. Some of you may even work on being in an actual partnership with a Pisces, but I definitely get this connection growing and Pisces specifically feeling more confident in opening up to you, which I feel like ultimately is surprising you somehow. So... Your actions are to be open, to be curious. I feel like you want to give more action. I feel like you are more in a energy of expression than this Pisces is, but I feel like they are going to get there in this month. So let's see what we have in the Oracle. And there's an offer on the table from this individual as well. So definitely may find yourself spending more time with Pisces or hanging out with them more. Let's see, Leo, you have offer. They have metamorphosis yeah definitely transformative energy here you have offer to separation they have metamorphosis to release you have unawakened they have return yeah so i feel like for a lot of you you may have felt like all right well it's never gonna work out with this pisces they're so distant or i'll never get an offer from them or they'll never come back around and here comes that offer they even have it in their energy with release and return so release Dropping that wall, return, coming in with more energy towards you, possibly even a reconciliation type energy for some of you. If you haven't been in this person's energy, or maybe it's just a rekindling of this energy, you know, I feel like randomly for some of you with a Pisces, you two may have decided like, all right, you know what, maybe we should just be friends or maybe we should just let it flow. It's like there is a turnaround energy where it's like, actually, hmm, I wonder why this connection feels like this, or I wonder why it feels so special and so connected or so synchronized. It's like there's more curiosity of this connection. Your advice is this card, and it says, only time will tell. Hmm. I feel like that goes very well with the way this reading has come through. So, this is what I have here for Leo plus Pisces 
for August. If you are looking for a different sign, check the channel. If it's not out already, subscribe and ring that bell to all so you are alerted of when the zodiac sign you're looking for is reading is released. We also have like a good like two, three thousand new subscribers. A welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We do this every month. So if this is something that you're interested in and don't have your bell rung already. Definitely ring that bell because you want to get notified when these readings go out because they are in a time frame. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. Happy birthday once again. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Have a good one. Bye now.